This is a hike that I led for my hiking club up to the summit of Mount Camera in the Smoky Mountains. We didn't have very good weather for this hike. It rained most of the morning, and when we got to the top, the views were obscured by all the clouds. The nasty weather kind of prevented me from taking too many videos of the hike. Fortunately, however, I had pre-hiked this hike two weeks earlier just to make sure that the trail was in good shape. The views on the pre-hike were really nice at the summit. I decided to merge the pre-hike videos with the actual hike that I did with the club just so everybody that attended that hike could see what it looked like up at the summit on a clear, nice day. By watching this video, my fellow club hikers will get to see that there really are good views on the top of Mount Cameron. The pre-hike and the club hike were a little different in that we had to start at a different trailhead on each hike. On the pre-hike, I started at the Chestnut Branch Trailhead. On the club hike, we started at Davenport Gap because the Chestnut Branch Trailhead was overflowing with cars at the parking lot. Starting at either trailhead doesn't change the hike all that much as far as total distance and total elevation gain. The club hike took the Appalachian Trail and then the Mount Camera Trail up to the summit. The total distance going this way was 11.7 miles with approximately 3,200 feet of elevation gain. The pre-hike started at the Chestnut Branch Trailhead. The Chestnut Branch Trail merges with the AT after about two miles, and then you take the AT to the Mount Camera Trail and on up to the summit. Going this way, it was about 12 miles in total length, plus an elevation gain of about 3,400 feet. Okay, let's get to the video. This is the Davenport Gap AT Shelter. <laughs> Say hello. Hi. This is the intersection of the AT and the Chestnut Branch Trail. Guys are up ahead. Yep. I found one. Well, I'll just turn our backs. Hi, Tom. Hi. How did you get up here? <laughs> well, this hike was gloomy and rainy all morning, and then we saw this. This is just the coolest thing, the way the sun is just coming through these trees. <laughs> putting these sunbeams out on the trail. Just awesome. <laughs> the sun finally decided to make an appearance. Okay, I'm in the Smoky Mountains by the Big Creek Ranger Station in North Carolina, and I'm getting ready to go up to the summit of Mount Camera. Uh, I'm going to take the Chestnut Ranch Trail up to the AT, Appalachian Trail, and then take a spur trail up to the summit. It's about 65 degrees right now, and it ought to be a good hike, so here we go. So here we are at the trailhead. This is the Chestnut Ranch Trail. And we have two miles on this trail to get up to the AT. And we have a total of 5.9 miles to get all the way up to the summit. And of course, we got to turn around and come back again, so around 12 miles. Here we go. So this trail starts climbing right out of the gate. Just a steady climb all the way up to the summit. One mile under the trail, the creek starts running right along the trail, so you get these nice little views.
Hey buddy, gotta get by. Thank you. Love this section of trail. The leaves are so light green, it almost looks like early spring, but it is early fall. Okay, so we've climbed a little bit over a thousand feet in two miles, and we're getting ready to make a final push up to the AT. This is a really steep section right here, but I think the probably the steepest section of the whole hike. So uh, we've already climbed about the equivalent of one Empire State Building in the first two miles. So here we go, get up to that AT. I don't know if you can tell how steep it is, but it's pretty steep through here. Okay, so that's where we just came up. It's a very steep section. So we are on the Appalachian Trail now. So that's the way we're heading. Going back this way is Davenport Gap, which is about two miles. Something was doing some heavy digging right here. So this section of the AT is mainly just dirt and roots, but as we get up closer to the summit, it's gonna to transition to rocks. Starting to open up a little bit through here. Also starting to see a little bit of fall color. Okay, we've gone a little bit over three miles, and now we've hit the intersection of the Appalachian Trail. And the lower Mount Camera Trail. So heading over this way, takes you over to the Cosby Campground. But we're going to be going up the AT some more. My app shows that we've got about 3.22 miles to the intersection of the Appalachian Trail and the lower Mount Camera Trail, and we've climbed approximately 1,800 feet. Okay, so here's the beginning of the steps. We're gonna have steps, steps, and more steps.
over four and a half miles into the hike in 2,700 feet of elevation gain. And the views are starting to open up now. Love this section of the trail. A nice stone wall. Slippery. Starting to get a little cloudy. Might get some rain. Ooh, the deep, dark, scary woods. Ooh. section of the trail always seems to be wet. Step City. Did I mention there's a few steps in this section? Looks like somebody's done some trail maintenance in this section. Whoever it was, I thank you. Looks good. Climb, climb, climb. Okay, we reached the Mount Camera Trail. We have 0.6 more miles to go to the summit. And we've gone about five and a half miles so far. And uh, elevation gain is 3,200 feet to this point. So roughly uh, like climbing three Empire State buildings to get to this point. I think we actually go downhill for a ways here. So it's time to change the muscle group that we're going to start working. <laughs> here we go. It's always an odd feeling on your legs when you've been climbing, 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 and then all of a sudden start going downhill. Takes a while to get used to it. We're getting close. Once you get here, you know you're almost there. Just a little rock scrambling and we should be there.
Here's the lookout tower. All right, so we left the summit and heading on back down to the AT. All right, we're back to the AT and it's time to head on back down again. Take a look at this view one more time. So the AT follows the state line between Tennessee and North Carolina through this area. So I guess my right leg is over in the North Carolina side and my left leg is on the Tennessee side. the intersection of the lower Mount Camera Trail and the AT. So we have one more mile to get to the Chestnut Branch Trail and then once we get there we got about two miles to get to the trailhead so three miles to go about nine miles down. So here we are at the intersection of the AT and the Chestnut Branch Trail. 2.1 more miles to go. I think this really is the steepest grade in the whole hike. The camera never seems to do it justice on these grades, but this is a steep section. The Smokies have a lot of black bears. I was hiking this trail a couple years ago and a black bear ran across my path. So might see another one. Always on the lookout. Pretty cool to see. This section of the trail is always so much hotter than the AT portion. The AT kind of runs along a ridge line and you get some nice breezes. This part sits down in a valley and there's not a lot of air movement. So it gets 
pretty muggy down here. So I was on the AT for about uh, seven miles today. I saw one person, somebody who was backpacking. It's kind of hard to believe that this is uh, really the first week in fall and one person on the AT that I met had the place to myself almost. Oops. One big tree. See so if you can get a sense of scale by how big this tree is. Made it back to the road. You can tell this is a fertile area with lots of rainfall. All that stuff growing on the railing of the bridge. made it back to the parking lot. The hike was about 12 miles and 3,400 feet of elevation gain. So it was a good one. See you next time.